Can one track my real IP address when I use VPNs? Paul Crowley says, no, a VPN service does not directly leak your original IP address. Not that your original public IP address is at all meaningful, but it is not available when you connect to a website. However, you need to understand that if there is sufficient motivation for finding you, you will be found. Let's say you almost always use a VPN from home to connect to some social media website. Sometimes you connect from your phone but only rarely. Let's say you search for some good fast-acting poisons using Google. Google will notice this and connect every access you have ever made to Google to this search. If someone you barely know dies and poison is suspected, law enforcement will get a little love note from Google with your name and address. This is going to happen regardless of your use of a VPN. Since you access the above-mentioned social media website from your phone, your username is connected with your wireless carrier. They also have the date and time and port number you accessed it from. This can be used to determine your wireless carrier account. Your identity is no longer a secret if someone with sufficient legal reason really wants to find it. A VPN used to encrypt unencrypted web traffic. It was useful for that. Today, with nearly all websites using HTTPS a VPN is a very, very limited utility. It does not protect you in any way really. It does slow things down. If you like that, keep paying. If you are not using a paid for VPN service, you are disclosing lots of stuff to the marketing people at that free VPN company, which they sell. See, they are being paid, just not by you. Tim Moore says, of course they can. The VPN is going to log it. Sure it's a little bit harder, but with enough time and maybe a warrant they can absolutely track it. All the people that say a VPN will hide your IP forget, don't know, don't care that the VPN provider is going to log everything you do. And why is that? To protect themselves from going to jail. If you use a VPN to say, preform a DDoS attack somewhere, if they, the service provider, can't pass the buck to you they are held responsible. Think of it like this, if you give your friend your phone and they call in a bomb threat somewhere, who gets in trouble, you or him? Now, if you record him using your phone to make a call like that you would a, need to report it b, not be held responsible because you have proof that it wasn't you c, need better friends. Jeremy Littlefield says, you cannot that's the point. The IP is real it's just been redirected and resourced. So it's a real but irrelevant shared IP sourcing traffic. However, if you can inspect all the traffic, you can often identify the culprit using UDP and unencrypted requests. This would require you have access to the target or victim machine, server. Which I assume you do and can packet capture or TCP dump the ingress traffic in question. DN's port 53 recursive server lookups relay often through a piece of software on the device rather than a separate server and you can sometimes get their IP from that exchange for example, or you can match DNS request historic patterns and maker a profile to match to a user you suspect WHI logs into match daily on their lunch break right at 1225 plus three other sites they default launch with the browser at 8am that are unique from any other users on the network. You gotta give me more specific info about the situation but that's a great example and method you can use with similar things too. JavaScript I hear is famous for leaking device info even when used with Tor over VPN. DHCP fingerprints normally could give you useful info such as browser and OS type or device type but in the case of the VPN it WPULD just be for the VPN intermediary. Thanks for watching our video on, can one track my real IP address when I use VPNs?